Spot price for silver and gold is down along with other precious metals. But the premiums are so high, it doesn't even make it worth buying. So what are we to do? I think there's a sector we've all been kind of not really looking at on YouTube. Let's talk about it. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. If you're new here, I am Coin and Silver Journey. Um, thank you for stopping by and I uh, hope you stick around. Uh, so what are we talking about today? Uh, we're talking about stocks. Stocks, right? So before we get into anything further, I do want to say I'm not a financial advisor. Um, I don't have a crystal ball and I wouldn't recommend off just my word alone going and pulling out your savings and doing this or that. Uh, do your own research and make your own uh, educated investment. Uh, but anyways, so before we get too far into the video, um, I did get some mail from Silver Steeler. Uh, I sent him something for his 1K giveaway uh, and it looks like he sent me something back. We'll open this at the end of the video, but did want to point that out. We do got some mail to open today. Move that over here. All right, so so what are we really talking about? Um, stocks, right? So I'm just a blue collar guy. I am no, by no means a financial advisor. or I don't necessarily follow these markets day in and day out, but a lot of this stuff to me is, is somewhat common sense, right? You can see what is doing really bad right now in the market based on what's going on, you know, the virus that shall not be named, right? We all know what it is. We know what's happening. We know how it's affecting the markets. All of us can see that. Um, it's pretty straightforward what's happening, right? So as hard as it is to get our hands on silver and gold without paying these high premiums, and even if you want it and you want to pay the high premiums, sometimes you can't even find it. Sold out of eagles or can't find any rounds, etc. So... So what are we to do? I think with this all going on, I've kind of took a step back and thought, hey, well, you know, it's not just all about silver and gold. Although it's it's nice to physically hold what you own and not be just, you know, in the virtual world, as you could say, uh, with the stocks. Um, but yeah, it's it's nice to hold it, but sometimes there is money to be made in other ways, right? So I picked out a couple stocks that I like um, in each kind of sector that I think is doing poorly and I want to go over that with you guys and show you a few examples and give you my, my opinion and just kind of maybe open your guys to something you guys haven't thought about. Or maybe you already have and you've already jumped on the, the bandwagon and you've already bought these good stocks that I might bring up. And that's great, good for you. Um, so before I get into it, if you have already done this, you know, invested in some stocks that are doing poorly because of the, the current economic situation, comment down below what you bought or what you foresee to do very well or to recover, etc. Uh, and I'm also curious what you guys use to buy your stocks. Do you use a certain app, the ones that I may mention, or do you have your own way of doing it? Uh, but I'm really interested to see what you guys do and are buying right now. But anyways... Let me uh, pull up the app that I like to use. We'll go to the website um, and I'll show you a few stocks that I like. Be right back. All right, guys, so here I am. I got it on uh, Robinhood.com. This is the one I chose to use um, for multiple reasons, right? So to me personally, the ones that I've seen, it's the easiest to use. It's not overly complicated. And also you get a free stock when you sign up uh, with someone else's link, say your brother, or your sister, or whoever, and you, you both get a free stock when you sign up, you know. So if that's something you're interested in doing, I'll put my link in the description and we can both get a free stock, right? Great. Um, so yeah, so I chose Robinhood. You know, there's a couple other options out there. Um, there's a, one called TD Ameritrade, which is, is a little more complex. It's, it's more for the experienced investor. Uh, there's Acorns and Stash. Those are for more simple. 
Uh, but personally, I, I like Robin Hood as far as the interface goes. And I will say, heads up, I am doing this off my phone through the web. So the interface is a little better when you're on the app. But to make sure you guys get to see it better and it's not, you know, uh, vertical, uh, I went ahead and did it on the internet. So I'll try my best, but it, the interface isn't as easy on your phone because I'm not on a computer. All right, so here's my Robin Hood. Currently, I only have $143 invested going on right now, mainly because I'm still holding out. All right, I'm looking for these the bottom. I'm looking for the bottom of the stocks that I'm interested in. Um, and it's, it's really difficult to tell the bottom, just like with silver and gold. You don't know when the price is going to stop going down. So you do your best to do your research based on what's going on in the world and the markets to, and to think when you think the bottom is going to be. Uh, so what I'm looking at is everything related to the coronavirus. Oh, oh man, I said it. Well, oh well. Um, yeah, so do I think it's going to get worse in the coming months or coming weeks, or do I think it's going to get better? So uh, in my opinion, I think it's going to get worse. Uh, I'm not saying it's going to be a, the world's going to end or anything like that, but I think it's going to get worse before it gets better. Um, and in the U.S., I foresee... And putting uh, two to three weeks, maybe a month long, with everybody forced to stay home unless you're essential. Essential being hospitals, nurses, gas stations, grocery stores, stuff like that. I see that coming. You know, there's some states that have already went that way. You got New York, California, Illinois, um, all those states. So I see it coming. So what am I investing in? So what I'm looking at here, really. Uh, I, I started looking at stocks that are being affected from the economy hurting related to the the virus uh, or affected by the virus, not directly but indirectly. Uh, so the categories I looked at were oil, uh, and that could be energy too, restaurants, airlines, travel hospitality, which kind of goes hand in hand with airlines but a little different, and then just big brands that are hurting from the virus indirectly, just from the consumer not spending as much money or they're not going out, etc. So let's first let's look at oil. I have some over here on my watch list. You can see my stocks I have over here. Uh, actually, all of these I got free with the exception of the uh, OUT out stock, which is one I actually bought. It's doing poorly, but I'm in the long haul for that one. Um, so let's look at an energy one. Let's go to, let's see if I can find you one here. It is XOM for Exxon. Exxon Mobil. So you know everyone that the issues with oil going on, the prices are dropping with uh, Russia and Saudi Arabia and the price wars and all this stuff going on. So that being the case, Exxon is doing pretty poor. Right? So it says it's $32 a share. Right? So you want to kind of look, show more. Shows you it's high and it's low. So let's see what it's been doing in the past three months related to the corona, right? So as of January 17th, it was $67. That's kind of when this all started happening. And then here we are now at $37. So let's see what it did in the five year. Five years, it's been pretty steady, you know, no crazy gains, pretty steady stock. And it looks like it took a dive with this whole oil war. So to me personally, I think that's a good one because it was, it was doing well before all this stuff happened. So because of the stuff that's going on, it went down, not because it's not a good investment. So it may be a time to get in there and check it out. Um, sometimes you'll see down here, they'll have an analyst rating. See, it says not to buy right now. Um, and that may be because they think it's going to go lower. See, that's why 70% are holding. So you need to do your research. You can't just go by, hey, this stock is low. It used to be high. You got to do a little more than that. So that's the oil category one I want to look at. We'll go back. And then restaurants. So this is an obvious one why they're doing poorly because people are forced to stay home uh, and you can't eat at a restaurant. It's only to go. So that's going to hurt them pretty pretty drastically. So the one I picked that I liked the most, uh, I picked a popular brand restaurant that people like. Um, and that's Olive Garden, Longhorn Steakhouse, uh, uh, I forget what it's called. Another one, Cheddar's. That's what it is. Um, and so that's a popular restaurant that are nationwide. And this conglomerate, 
nation or whatever you want to call it, <laughs> they they own all of those collectively and they own a number more, another ten restaurants. So this this place is this uh stock is getting hurt pretty bad because well no one's going out to eat. So let's look and see how they were doing. Three months, three months ago, right when this started happening, February nineteenth, it was hundred twenty dollars a share. And then all this bad stuff started happening. Oh, we don't want that to happen. Go back. Like I said, the interface is not that good on your phone when you're doing the web version. It's definitely a lot better when you're on the app. Okay, so here we are. So let's let's just go straight to a year. They were doing pretty well. Um, 120, 120, 120. February doing great, uh, and then just a nosedive down to 30 something dollars because no one's going to the restaurants, right? So that would be my pick for restaurants. There's more. Um, I do have a couple others I was interested in. And you can do your own research with this. It's common sense. Any restaurant that is popular that isn't doing well because people aren't going may be a good, a good buy, All right? So as usual, do your own research. Um, so let's, let's skip restaurants. I mean, uh, well, there is one more actually. A very popular one. Where are you at? Where are you at? Starbucks. I'm sure everyone's very familiar with Starbucks. Um, currently at $57 let's go to one month back there we go so it's at a steep climb down because of the corona February 25th let's go three months back all right it was pretty steady then took a nosedive let's go a year let's go five years so if you look at the five year you can kind of see it was on a steady steady climb and it was going up you know 2018 it was doing pretty well and then it just shot right up, $99, $99, $99, uh, 89 and took a nosedive when this whole shenanigans happened. So you can do your own research, as usual, um, and let's see what they're saying. So they're saying 40% are saying buy, 50% saying hold. Personally, I think that thinks, to me, it's because it's going to go lower, right? All right, so let's go check out some airlines. Here we go. I have one that I'm interested in is Southwest Airlines. See, they're saying hold, you know, because of, just a heads up, if I'm saying I'm interested, doesn't mean I'm buying today, right now, right this second. It means I'm watching it, seeing what's going to happen, right? I'm keeping an eye on it, see if it goes lower, if it goes higher before I make my purchase. So when it says hold, well, don't say, hey, well, you said to buy it. No, I'm saying just keep an eye on this one. Keep an eye on some of these ones I'm mentioning. See, it's saying right now is not a good time to buy, but very strong, very strong company. Uh, let's go five years back. Very steady. I mean, there's some dips and dives, but it's a steady increase all the way up. Um, and they were doing pretty well, 57 before they took a nosedive to 31. So this is not one you're going to make thousands on, but I think it's a sure, almost a sure bet with, with Southwest that they're going to recover from what's going on. All right. So that's the airlines. We can check out United Airlines. I believe this is them. Yes, United. This is another good one right now for me personally. I'll keep an eye on this one. Let's see. Uh, all right, let's check it out. So let's go a year back. Very steady. It was in the 80, 80s, mid 80s, $90 range. And then as soon as these issues started happening, nosedive down to $24 so five years let's go five years back pretty steady climb you can see it there um, and it took a nosedive so I think this could be a good one it's been around a while airlines are bound to recover uh, but keep an eye on it don't necessarily purchase now just keep an eye on this one okay and then this is my the one I'm really really watching that as soon as I think it's hit the lowest, I'm going to definitely not go all in, but I'm going to buy quite a few shares. There's two of them, and that is the cruise lines. So the first one I'm showing you is Norwegian Cruise Line. Right? Not quite as big as the other ones, but it's still a, a large cruise line. Let's see how they were faring. You, as you know, they're drastically affected. Very steady in the, in the $50 range. $50, $50 doing really well and then as soon as this whole business happened 
nosedive down to $8. Um, I think this company is well diversified and that they'll be able to withstand the current markets and what's going on. It really depends on how long this goes for. I don't see them going out of business, but it is a possibility. So don't, you know, don't go all in, but I would keep an eye on that one for sure. And the other one that's even better, a little more pricey for the average person is the Royal Caribbean cruise line. All right, let's check them out. Three months ago, they were doing great. 130 something dollars a share. The business started happening in February and just a complete nosedive all the way down to $24 a share. You look at their five year outlook uh, and they were doing great. Steady up climb, you know, no crazy jumps. And then they took a nosedive. So I would watch this one. They're saying 63% are saying to buy. Uh, maybe they're thinking it is, it's already hit the bottom and that's not gonna go much lower. No way to truly tell, but keep an eye on that one. Okay, and I think I had one more I wanna show you from the travel hospitality hospitality industry and that would be a casino one which is a big big market over there in Las Vegas as you know a lot of them are closed so they're hurting pretty bad MGM owns, owns casinos around the world and quite a few in the United States let's see let's go back a year okay steady doing very well very well 30 30 and then February boom straight to March nosedive done is nine dollars um, I think this, they're bound to recover. People, they really like going to casinos. They like visiting Vegas. It, it's, it's something, it's a pastime that a lot of people do. Now, if we go into a recession, which we might already be in one, maybe this isn't the way to go. Don't go too crazy, but something to keep an eye on. So that's that. And then the big brands you can look at, All right? Let's see. So that is Disney, Apple, Coca-Cola, Amazon, Nike, Facebook, Microsoft, Oh, those kind of big ones that everyone knows. Let's look at Nike. Uh, they took a little bit of a hit too because people aren't buying as much. But I don't see Nike going out of business anytime soon. Uh, I mean, Nike is just a, a brand everybody knows. So not quite as drastic as the others, but it is on the down downturn. But if you look at its five-year, nothing but straight to the moon. So... To me, that shows that it's a strong, strong company and it will recover. All right, so let's see if I have another one I could show you guys. Check it out. I guess I didn't add it to it, but I would check out Disney and Apple, Amazon. Um, some of those stocks are more pricey, but they're more of a safe bet. So anyways, guys, uh, I'm going to go back to my normal setup. We'll open the mail. And we'll talk a little more about this. All right. Be right back. All right, guys. We're back. Uh, so I hope that showing you guys the stocks and maybe opening your eyes to that was helpful to some people. Um, like I said, I'm no financial advisor. I'm just your average guy doing his research and using a little bit of common sense to see what something could possibly make some money on. Right? So hopefully the ones I showed you, maybe they'll pique your interest and... You can make your own educated opinions and guesses and and what the market's doing and, and make a good purchase and, and whatnot. So hopefully that was helpful. Um, like I said, um, if you did want to use the Robinhood app, uh, my link to where we can both get a free stock will be in the description if you decide to go that route. Um, but it couldn't hurt to even just look at these things and peek at them from time to time. Maybe you'll see an opportunity. Um, but yes, uh, so I did want to say that I hope everyone is doing well with this whole uh, pandemic, as you would call it. I know some people will be hurting financially because of what's going on. They may be out of work. Um, I encourage you not to be buying precious metals or stocks if that is the case. You know, take care of your family first. Make sure you have food and you're ready to go uh, and just take care. Hope everybody's doing all right. Um, but anyways, I did get my first mail from Silver Steeler. I'm gonna open this thing up and see what he had to say and see what he sent. Let's see, oh, 
winning image photography. That is his wife. Super Steeler is a, it's a great guy and a great member of this community. Um, he's definitely active in the community and just, just, a, just an all-around nice guy. Yeah, I remember he was actually one of my first subscribers, the top, uh, he's probably in the first 50. He managed to stop by my channel and, and subscribe, so. All right. Oh, okay, so we got Silver Steelers sticker. It says 2020. Cool, this is my first sticker, actually. And we have winning image photography. Pretty cool. Thank you for that, Silver Steeler. Looks like he sent us a Merc. Wow, bouncing around here. It's a 1918. I appreciate the Merc, Silver Steeler. You can never have enough, sorry, too much constitutional silver. Didn't want to focus there. Um, so here's what he had to say. Coin and Silver Journey. Thank you for supporting my channel. And we appreciate you mailing Silver Tenuous prize to us. Details coming soon on my 1K GA. Hope to see you there. Your friends, Winning Image Photography and Silver Steeler. Yes, yeah, so uh, I had sent them, Silver Tanawa won my uh, 100 subscriber giveaway, but it turns out I was unaware that he lived in New Zealand. So uh, with the mailing restrictions and all that going on, uh, I went ahead and sent it to Silver Steeler. Uh, that's what Silver Tanawa wanted to do, so it worked out and it's gonna be on his 1K GA. So definitely check out Silver Steeler's channel. I will put it in the description. And definitely check out his 1K guy. He's giving away a lot of cool stuff. Um, but anyways, that's all I got today, guys. Uh, if you enjoyed the video or you learned something, uh, I encourage you to leave a comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. And I will see you guys in the next one. Keep stacking.